What's good, Her Rich fan, man? It's your boy, Her Rich Credit, back again with another fucking banger, man. You feel me? Look, Her Rich fam, today I got a quick and very special video for y'all today. So recently, and I'm going to get straight to it. Recently, I've been having a lot of you guys hit me up with the credit to cash method with Plastic.com saying that it's not working for you. You guys are having issues with it. Plastic.com is basically telling you that you can't pay yourself, pay your own business, right? Uh, which a lot of you guys might be doing something wrong, if I'm being honest with y'all. But basically, Plastic.com, that credit to cash method is you going on Plastic.com, the website, putting your credit card information in there, paying another business where they will receive a direct wire or a direct check. And y'all can go to the business bank account, bust a play, you know, after you take out the cash and whatever you're trying to invest in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give you a more simple way in turning your credit into cash because there's a lot of ways. But I feel like with this method, I haven't really talked about it on the channel and I don't know why, but it's with Cash App. OK, y'all, you can turn your credit into cash with Cash App. So the way you do it is straight to the point. So with Cash App, what you have to do is you have to link your bank account first. You have to link your bank account first and your debit card information. But after that, they will give you the option to link your credit card information, right? So once you link your credit card information, what you can do is pay yourself, right? Because what a lot of people don't know is you can create a lot of cash apps. You can create a lot of cash apps, but the difference is you're going to have to have a different phone number and a different email associated, right? And also to a different bank account, which a lot of you guys have different bank accounts. Y'all watch my videos. I always tell y'all, build, build relationships with other institutions and you guys have other credit cards, right? So that's all you have to do, right? But once you open up that cash app and link your credit card information and they're gonna do the same shit like plastic.com. They're gonna charge a 3% fee. That's what plastic.com charges. But like I said, you can pay somebody that you know yeah, they they have the money deposited into their bank account. The only thing is though, don't do that deliver. What's that shit called? The in instant access. You get what I'm saying? Because Cash App will charge you. I think it's like a one point something fee. I forgot, man. Just wait the the normal time stamps for you to receive that cash into that bank account. You get what I'm saying? Just so your profit margins could be bigger. If you guys understand what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, let's say you send the Cash App uh, through the credit card and you get charged that 3% fee, you could send it directly to your other Cash App account, or you can send it to somebody you know. Like I said, the same shit with Plastic.com, go directly into that business bank account or that personal account, you know, take out the cash and bust a play, right? Bust a play on whatever you're trying to invest in, whether it's Turo, Airbnb, uh, y'all get the point, man. Trucking, whatever it is, man. But also too, a little advice for y'all, Cash App has a daily limit. I'm pretty sure it's 10K. That's the daily limit for uh, Cash App. So that's probably the most that you can, you know, take out of your credit cards, man, depending on what credit cards you guys have. But like I said, with 10K me and being the max limit, most of y'all are, you know, doing some small investments. If you just starting in the credit game and just starting to invest, I don't recommend y'all to go all out with y'all credit cards, okay? Get into small businesses, right? Learn the foundation of the business that you're trying to get into. I talk a lot about Amazon FBA in my videos, right? You can just use your credit cards directly when you go into the store. You don't even have to turn your credit into cash in this way, okay? But let's say, for example, Airbnb. That you're going to have to turn your credit into cash with, right? But the investment's like 5 to 7K, and you can start Airbnb. Get your first apartment like that or talk to the landlord, right, and convince them to do Airbnb in this property and get the furniture. Sometimes you don't even got to tell them, right? You just head into the property. They see that everything is functioning. Once they find out, they say, okay, you haven't fucked up my property like a tenant. I might as well just let you stay. And they start recommending you other properties. But yeah, y'all, I'm just giving y'all ideas, man. So once you turn your credit into cash, man, just try to get into small investments if you just starting in this shit. Or some of y'all are already business owners and y'all know what y'all doing. So, um, but yeah, the max that you can pull out is 10K, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, just quote me under the comment section. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, Hurrich fam. Turn your credit into cash with Cash App. Probably my next video, I'm going to show y'all how to turn y'all credit into cash with PayPal. Probably PayPal. You could do it with PayPal as well, too. But I'm going to get into that for the next video. I want to do as much videos as I can because y'all know I be dropping every day. But yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed. Y'all have a good day. The Hood Rich Way. Go on.